Hello my dear learners welcome to a new story telling session here at Skillfident with your mentor Namita Today's story is going to be a very inspiring one It will teach us a valuable lesson on positive thinking Listening to these kind of stories will not just improve your English speaking skills but will also impart timeless wisdom to all of us. You can consider switching on the subtitles by clicking on CC. Also, you can increase or decrease the speed of audio based on your understanding as always you are going to give a suitable title to the story in the comment section below so let's start listening to this amazing story once upon a time there lived an apple farmer he was very good at growing apples and it gave him great satisfaction to see all his hard work over the year come to fruition with a glorious harvest on one particular morning as the farmer is taking his dog for a walk he notices something out of place there is one bad apple sitting high up on his most prized bountiful tree if that one bad apple were to spread to the rest of the apples and then the rest of the field my whole crop will be spoiled he says to himself i must do something but what he goes to the tractor shed to fetch a long pole that way i can poke it out the tree and stop the problem he says to himself try as he might the long pole just isn't quite long enough and in an attempt to get the one bad apple a few good ones are knocked to the floor this is no good he says to himself i need a better idea it's once again back to the tractor shed this time for a catapult that way i can shoot the bad one apple off its branch and my problem will be solved he says to himself try as he might our farmer's aim isn't so good and he can't hit that one bad apple to save his life in all the badly aimed and missed attempts a few good apples are also knocked to the floor this is no good he thinks to himself a better solution is needed one that is full proof it's once again back to the tractor shed this time the plan is to shake the tree so that one bad apple may fall to the ground solving the problem once and for all try as he might no matter how hard The farmer shakes the tree that one bad apple just won't budge and in all his attempts a few good apples are shaken loose and fall to the ground a few more days pass and the farmer is now obsessed with that one bad apple sitting at the top of the tree with one final full proof plan of attack the farmer arms himself with a chainsaw if he can't poke it out 
shoot it out or shake it out of the tree then he's going to cut off the branch that way he is sure he will rid himself of that one bad apple the farmer arrives at his prized apple tree and notices something for the first time with all his concentration and days being taken up with that one bad apple he had knocked shaken and poked all the other apples to the ground where they now lay rotting in an attempt to stop that one bad apple spreading to the rest he had forgotten to notice all the other wonderful apples that had ripened on his prized apple tree now my dear learners the moral of this wonderful story is sometimes we spend too much time and effort looking at the one bad apple in our lives what we forget to do is remember all the other wonderful apples we already have sitting in our apple tree so take out time today to focus not on one bad apple but the many wonderful ripe apples you already have in your life now you must be thinking why shall we only focus on the good because we are not meant to stay wounded we are supposed to move through our tragedies and challenges and to help each other move through the many painful episodes of our lives by remaining stuck in the power of our wounds we block our own transformation we overlook the greater gifts inherent in our wounds the strength to overcome them and the lessons that we are meant to receive through them wounds are the means through which we enter the hearts of other people they are meant to teach us to become compassionate and wise my friend there is going to be very painful moments in your life that will change your entire world in a matter of minutes these moments will change you let them make you stronger smarter and kinder but don't you go and become someone that you are not cry scream if you have to then you straighten out that crown and keep it moving don't let this world make you bitter don't let the actions of other people turn you cold on the inside certain things happen that hurt us people come that leave us and most of all there are moments when you are bound to fall don't let those things make you unkind it's okay to cry it's okay to be sad but it's never okay to do other people wrong just because you were done wrong we are all humans we break we make mistakes but don't let pain and sadness run your lives wake up in the morning and do what you think is right there are moments in your life where you feel like giving up and you can't take it anymore it's okay breathe inhale exhale i know you're weak 
but the things that show your weak side are also the same ones that make you stronger in the long run. It's all about taking whatever life throws at you and learning from it. Let's remember that this life is amazing and then it's awful and then it's amazing again. And in between the amazing and the awful, it's ordinary and mundane and routine. Breathe in the amazing. Hold on through the awful and relax and exhale during the ordinary. That's just living, heartbreaking, soul healing, amazing, awful, ordinary life. And it's breathtakingly beautiful. Now, let me know in the comments if you also feel that this life is simply beautiful with all its struggles, pain and suffering. And now I'm going to end today's session. I'll see you in my next audio lesson. Till then, take care of yourself and bye-bye for now.